She's sleeping. Hello, everybody. Welcome to, uh, fucking. I'm tired. <laughs> uh, November, uh, what was it? 4th, 2014. Uh, Tuesday or. Tuesday, yeah. My name is 16, shut up with your nerdy, and today I'm gonna talk about friggin'. Tomorrow is apparently gonna be a Smash Brother or sorry, Smash Smash A Nintendo Direct. No, nothing's themed. It's not specifically for Smash or Bayonetta or Zelda or Mario or Kirby to Pokemon. Nothing. It's just a Nintendo Direct. It could be about anything. So friggin'. I have no idea what it's gonna be. I just know it's supposed to be tomorrow. Uh, November 5th, Wednesday, 2014. No idea if it's in the morning, during the day, or night, which is usually gonna probably be debris. Uh, it's probably gonna be during freaking the day or morning, well, not not night for sure, not the night, but freaking anything can be announced. Anything for sure, I'm a bet we're gonna get a new game. Something is gonna be announced. It's gonna be new, brand new. I feel like it is because all the major releases are coming out this month and or next. I mean, yes, Grant Lee, there's still Xenoblade Chronicles X, and Yoshi's Woolly World, Mario Party 10, and whatever else is still, you know, Shimagami, Shimagami, eh, Shimagami Tensei, Crossfire, and like, whatever, those are coming out, like, next year, 2015, they're still not out yet, but I mean, a lot of the other major titles are coming out this month, in, like, a couple weeks. So freaking, it could be anything. Anything. It could be like Pikmin 4 or freaking Star... F some more information about the Star Fox game for the Wii U that was announced during E3. Or freaking another Metroid game or F-Zero or a another Kid Icarus game for some god reason, Sakurai. Just no. Just relax for a while, dude. Or freaking... What else is there? Uh, trying to think actually. Another Pokemon game too. Freaking maybe they're gonna tell us, oh, we're rebooting the Game and Watch franchise, or we're making another Golden Sun ep episode, game, or anything, anything. But I won't know until tomorrow. I won't know until tomorrow. So freaking, it could literally be anything, anything, anything. So that's kind of what I got today. I mean, I haven't really did much. I didn't really do much. I haven't played a game. I didn't watch TV. I've been watching some YouTube videos, and that's kind of been a, I've been doing. Plus, working ten hours a shift. Fuck. Plus, I am kind of tired and or whatever. But I don't know if there's any other information I could tell you guys about. Oh, here's one. Uh, Shantae and the Pirate's Curse is now available for the Nintendo 3DS. That I do know. Because people have been telling me they have gotten it for their 3DSs. Even though I haven't seen a Let's Play on it, so... It's perhaps already out. But, fucking, I don't know until I know. But it's most likely probably out. So go check it out. If it's not, then I don't know. But if you want to try out the first game, I say go try it out because it's like $5. 
So, friggin', I'm tired. My dog's tired. I'm tired. Pikachu's tired. <laughs> uh, that's all you for today, everybody. Literally, I, I can't even think of anything. First or tomorrow, there'll be something being announced, of course. But I, right now, I'm, I'm I'm tired. I did actually finish Baby Daddy, but fucking I don't even know if I have, even have. No. We're, we're doing it right now, you know what, because I'll probably forget in a couple of days, because, well, I probably won't even be motivated, and some of the other things, so let's review it now. Okay. Ah, oh, freak tired. Okay. Here you go. What time is it? Alright, whatever. Two minute review. Baby Dabby. Uh, Baby Daddy. The ABC Family. Uh, TV sitcom. Ready? Go. Okay, so the show is actually pretty great. There's nothing like, like, oh my god, it's something brand new and never been told before. But it's actually really great in like a com comedy kind of reality romance kind of thing. Which has sports and life kind of things with dating and even possibly living in New York City. <laughs> which is, like I said, it's pretty great. I mean... Uh, Riley, the girl, I know. I know who she's from. She's like one of the Disney Channel uh, shows. Uh, uh, Jonas and also uh, the uh, Minute Men, which she was pretty great in. Uh, I think she was more attractive back then. No offense. And then freaking we got Tucker, which is actually another Disney Channel star. As a kid, though, his he wasn't he was known as the smart guy. Or, yeah, smart guy, and he was a little kid that was like, really freaking smart in the high school, even if he was like 10 or something. And then the other two was like completely random people to me, no offense, but they're they pretty great. Uh, ben Wheeler and Danny Wheel, Wheeler, uh, two brothers in New York City, their best friends, Riley, uh, and they eventually, you know, I don't know how they exactly meet Tucker, but they, they do eventually. I'll probably, they're probably going to tell us eventually, but still a good show, and plus they have their mom, and the biggest plot twist for the whole entire thing, which is called Baby's Daddy, Ben has a baby, which the mother leaves at his doorstep, and then he has to take care of it, and all the other things, so, it's pretty crazy, uh, plus, uh, Riley likes Ben, Ben likes other girls, he eventually loves Riley, and then his brother Danny actually likes Riley, but she doesn't like Danny like that, and then Tucker's like his own person, knowing everything, plus the mother is like a cougar. <laughs> no joke. And, oh, and their and their father's gay. <laughs> I think I kind of caught everything into that point. Oh, and and, and uh, Danny is uh, obsessed with hockey slash horse sports, mostly hockey. And Riley is wants to be a lawyer, which the best she does. And Ben just wants to be the best parent possible. And Tucker, he just wants to do his own thing. Like I said, he's like, whatever. So, freaking, the show itself, it's pretty funny. Some parts maybe isn't for people. I don't know. But for me, it was funny. I really like it. It was pretty good. And I don't even know why I did a too many review because I'm talking probably longer than I should. But whatever. Fucking. I think it was great. Okay? Screw the too many review. Would there be anything I would like to change in the show? I don't think so. It's actually pretty good. Um, I like how a lot of the stars that well premiere in it are actually ex Disney Channel stars slash Nickelodeon stars and ABC Family stars and a lot of ex stars from shows and or people slash whatever from that point on, which is really awesome. I really gotta admit it's pretty awesome, but. Uh, my review for season one, two, and three for Baby Daddy, or Baby's Daddy, uh, I give it a eight out of ten, because it's pretty a little bit above average. It's really good. Uh, I think there's 
probably something missing. It it feels great. I really like it. Like, it connects to people. I can tell. But it's not like it's the best show in the world. It's something like you probably want to like like watch consistently. It's probably something like you might want to have in the background for some god reason. I'm not saying it's a bad thing, but like it's something to go off if something is going bad or something's like you, like nothing's going on at all kind of point. That you can just watch it and like, okay, let's see what's on. Let's see, like, fucking Flintstones or Powerpuff Girls. I was like, oh, hey, baby dad, just watch that. It's like, just because it's there, it's like, oh, man, that, was, that was good. That That's kind of it. I think it's that kind of show. But it's still really good for what it is. I mean, I'm not saying it's a boring show or anything, but I really li like some parts. It made me laugh. Uh, there's some parts, even in the show, it kind of gave me advice to do things, but I'm not going to say because that's actually pretty stupid and or romantic, but you're probably going to make fun of me, but so I'm not even going to talk about it, but it gives you advice on things that you might not even know you're supposed to even be thinking about, but pretty good show, I gotta say. So, uh, that's my review on Baby's Daddy. I hope you go watch that show on ABC Family or uh, Netflix, that's where I watch it personally, and maybe even ABCFamily.com if that's even a thing on there, but hey, I don't know. But anyways, that's my re that's my vlog. So, recap. Baby Daddy Review. I give it an 8 out of 10. Friggin. Nintendo Direct tomorrow. I have no idea what it's going to be. It could be about anything. Literally anything. <sighs> you really don't say. Okay, it could literally be about anything. And then fucking I think that's it. So I'm tired. I'm gonna see you guys tomorrow and I'll talk to you guys later, okay? Like the video, subscribe, leave a comment below. See you guys tomorrow. Bye.